Or that friend who always seems to find the bathroom in the dark without stubbing their toe? The one who can navigate through a pitch black room like they've got some kind of built-in night vision goggles? Well, turns out there might be more to it than just good spatial memory. We're talking about a genetic lottery ticket that only a handful of people on Earth have won, the ability to see in conditions that would leave the rest of us fumbling around like we're playing Marco Polo with furniture. It's all about how your DNA is packaged inside the rod cells in your retina. There's a compact rearrangement of genetic material in the rod nucleus that creates a two-fold improvement in retinal transparency. Think of it like having your genetic code organized by Marie Kondo. But instead of sparking joy, it's sparking superhuman vision. The human retina has approximately 90 million rod cells, and these bad boys are responsible for everything you see in low light. Being able to see a predator creeping up in moonlight was literally the difference between passing on your genes or becoming something else's midnight snack. Following the evolution of mammals from their reptilian ancestors approximately 275 million years ago, there was a nocturnal phase where complex color vision was lost, but night vision was dramatically enhanced. We essentially traded seeing in color for seeing in the dark, and then most of us lost that superpower when we became daytime creatures again. But some people? They kept the genetic code. Joe Rogan actually touched on genetic enhancements in his podcast with Rick Strassman, where they discussed how neural implants could provide superhuman vision, night vision, or thermal imagery. But what they were talking about was technology catching up to what some people already have naturally. We're literally at the point where we can potentially give people superpowers through genetic intervention. This isn't science fiction anymore. We're living in a time where the line between natural human ability and technological enhancement is blurring. People are already walking around with genetic advantages that seem like something out of a comic book. And we're developing technologies that could give those same advantages to everyone. The question isn't whether this is possible, it's already happening. The question is, how far we're willing to push the boundaries of human enhancement. Are we comfortable with a world where some people have natural night vision while others don't?